Would you say that I nailed it? No. Why? Because you can't chew it. But, sh- but... <laughs> I'll have something in my head where it's like compressed sugar. Brad, that is not a thing. <laughs> You're kneading it. Isn't that stretching? No, it's not. Got to stretch. So once yours kind of looks like Brad's... So you <laughs> Brad, you try making a gusher. This is hard. It's totally different than the first one. It's like not airy enough. I mean, it's flat. <laughs> Nailed that. <laughs> Maybe scratch the cookie. I think you did a good job. Thanks. All right, keep fighting the good fight. Okay. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Spooky <laughs> Halloween. Welcome to the BS Test Kitchen. Uh, that's stands for brother, sister, and or bullshit test kitchen because we are on <laughs> Halloween edition, special, Halloween special. Special. I think the best thing to do to kick off any sort of even cooking show really and or special is to make a creepy cocktail just to get kind of the the, uh, the blood flowing. Absolutely. And then later the blood spilling. To get the spirits running. Yeah. Ooh, well played, <laughs> well played. So up front we have some green things and some alcoholic things. Sour apple. We're gonna make a, yeah, it's gonna be sour apple. It's, we've decided to call it sour apple slimer since it's basically gonna be the color of slimer from, from Go- Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Which is a childhood classic, 90s classic. Where do you rank it in your, your like kids' movies as a kid? Oh my god, so high. One and two. One, obviously, the best, but. I'm very, very there with you as well. So, what is it? We got vodka, that's so we, apple. We've got some green apple vodka, and then we've got sour puss it is. And then we're gonna bless them with the green Powerade, a little melon pineapple action. We're gonna batch it in this bowl here. So we're gonna start with the ice, get that in there. We're gonna do, I mean, in the spirit of Halloween, we could just do a free pour. Free pour, really? Like how many just, ounces? Just hope for the best and see what we come up with. I like that right around there, yeah. Isn't that what gourmet makes is all about, right? We just kind of I try things. Just, I think you just free ball it. And figure it out as we go best. along. That's a lot of vodka, and I mean, so that's there's, probably good. There's nothing wrong with getting more drunk than not drunk, you know? I mean, you know, like I want to be able to finish the video, but sure. Unless you're a puker, then there's... But I mean, that's kind of the theme of... I, I'm probably just going to fall asleep on the counter. Me too, actually. Yeah. That's been such my thing lately, just falling asleep when I get drunk. So a little bit of this stuff, not going to lie, I find this stuff sickly sweet, so I'm not going to put in a ton of it. Another and then we have the... Childhood favorite. To make that electric slimer green. There you go. There it is. So stir in. Probably not the right thing, but this is... We're not we just need something to mix it, you know? We're not just get it. Get it. We're not professionals. Okay. Ready for pours? I'd say you're ready for pours. What do you want to do? Yeah, just... We're just going to, you know, we're just going to go for it. We're just going to go straight to it. So this is actually a, uh, on my topic of, of getting too drunk and barfing. Yeah. This is, this is actually... You're going to hold off? No, it's actually perfect because we're going to make these pumpkins puke with dip. That's the next play here. So these pumpkins that you see in front of us, once we get our little bit of buzz on here with this sour apple slimer, Skull in the skull cups. We are uh, gonna go ahead and carve these that out. Is, that is something. Got them, and then make up some dips and make them bark. We're going from spooky Halloween to pukey Halloween. Spooky to pukey. Spooky to pukey. That's a real, real thing. I don't know. This is pretty good to me. I'd say it's not too vodka. -y. It's very sour apple. It's not really. It's not really on your palate. I put too much sourpuss in it. Put too much sourpuss? Yeah. yeah. Really like it. Don't like it too. Uh, it's too sweet. Just splash a little soda in there. It'll be great. Needs to be bubbly. It just needs a little carbonation. All right. Well, not professionals. It's gonna add a little carbonation yeah, here. Hook just me a, up. There you go. It's a little extra. This, this a little is what, ace hill this on here. This is why they call it a test kitchen. It's all about tweaking, right? Yeah. Cheers again. Much better. That's better. It balanced better. it out. Yeah. Less sweet. So it's a fizz, it's a fizzy sour slimer. There it is. All right. So we have to go ahead and make these pumpkins basically barfable for dip. Mm. Right. And what are what exactly are we making for the dips? Well, Claire, funny you ask. Uh, we're gonna do some gastric guacamole and some buffalo chicken barf. Cheesy, of course. Cheesy buffalo chicken barf? That's it. Love it. You got it. Love it. That's coming up next. So so in the meantime, we're just going to rattle these off real quick. We're going to uh, get to town. We're freehanding it. We're freeballing it because Claire asked me, hey, Brad, do you have any Sharpies, pencils, things like that? And I said, 
It's 2020. We live in the digital digital age. This Who is, anymore this even is, has a pencil? In this their is house? the one time where I'm actually more prepared than you are. How are you more prepared? I feel like you always are giving me shit for like. Oh, in the task. Not kitchen? maintaining things, stealing your stuff. Well, I usually have a pen handy actually, but today uh, you probably stole it and left it somewhere. So, anyways. Let's get to carving these and uh, see what we can come up with with our free hand, what is, what is this, Van Gogh Basquiat type shit? Or? Yeah, I'm just going to pretend this is you real quick. <laughs> okay, perfect. Pop the top on that bad boy. Very determined to get this pumpkin clean. I hate cleaning pumpkins. They're kind of stinky. Oh yeah, it's the worst. And then your hand gets all itchy too if you don't wear gloves. It's a little farty. <laughs> You know, but I guess I mean, in, yeah, in the I spirit of it, doesn't, doesn't Slimer fart a lot? I mean, kind of I have a feel in the spirit of Halloween, I don't think anything is supposed to smell good, True. to be honest. I think it's all about decay and corpses and, you know, yeah, death and necrophilia. Well, okay, that's a bit much, but, that's a bit uh, far, but, but I mean, sometimes. I, I mean, I, I was just going to go with spooky and creepy. Oh, okay. You're not, okay. not necrophilia? Uh, no. You're not into the, the fucking of the dead? No, me neither. You made spaghetti squash? Yeah, a few times, but not even for myself. Have you ever eaten spaghetti squash? Uh, I've had like a taste here and there, but it's, you know what I mean? Like, not your jam? I mean, if I'm just gonna eat half spaghetti, I'm having carbs, you know? I guess that's true. I'd rather be fat than not taste something, you know? <laughs> kind of like butter and sugar? Yeah, like, just, just, sort of just use it. At a certain point, you just have Never to Never use margarine in a baking recipe, please. And thank you, everyone. Unless it's some weird-ass recipe that calls for it. At a certain, the butter. certain point, you have to be like, do I eat the thing properly and just, like, fast or go for a walk? <laughs> <laughs> or do I deprive myself and put on some bullshit, like, fake shit, and then still, like, you know, it's just not even worth it still want this experience yeah, at the end yeah, of yeah, yeah, like, and you have the fake one, and you're like, that didn't really hit the spot at that all. That didn't satisfy anything. Yeah. Wow, you're just throwing things on my station, eh? Oh, stop it. Holy. Well, <laughs> as per usual, the slower one of the two. So in the meantime, <laughs> I, myself, the lush because that we I, all know I on this. Because I pretended to care about my design instead we all know of that freehanding on... this. Well, you... <laughs> hey, mine's great, okay? It's doing the job. Mine, <laughs> honest to God, looks like it lost its mom in the grocery store. Okay, it is crying out for for, for its mother. <laughs> Where are you? I'm by the handy snacks. I'm probably ending up with mom <laughs> yelling at the child. <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> really, all we're going for, guys, is the utility of the barf mouth. We just need it to actually be able to spill the amount of uh, dip barf that is going to come out of it. So, I mean. It doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to be... Oh, believe me, this is not pretty or perfect. Useful. Well, okay, let's move on to these uh, these dips. So next up, we got the buffalo chicken cheesy barf. Cheesy chicken buffalo barf. Chunky know. cheesy chicken buffalo, buffalo barf. barf. And I got the gastric guac coming up, so I have a fat sack of avocados right here. Many limes. Onion important. Onion important. Red onion, of course. And a bushel of cilantro. And then some salt. And that'll do it. We're mostly just going to stick to breast white meat for this. And yeah, the chicken dip is just going to be the, definitely the white meat for sure. I feel like it's just, it's a it's a crowd pleaser. Like it's like you can't go wrong with, in the crowd, even though it's hidden in a dip. So I think I'm just going to give a little bit of a, how it's done with one of each of everything here. So the avocado, you just roll it around like that. Twist, smack in, turn, and she's done. Now once that's done, you take the pit out and then this is a crucial moment to make your life easier is just a spoon, right? You know this, have you made guac many times? Uh, I, I made my fair share of guac. I mean, as Claire Saffitz, I would imagine you have, no? Like. Yes. So you do that, boom, that's done. How do you prefer your guac texture-wise? Are you like a smoother guac or a chunkier I'm guac? I'm a smoother, I'm a smooth with a little chunk. Okay. Like I like little chunky bits, but I like predominantly smooth, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a, I'm a chunkier guac, to yeah, be honest. It's just like your mashed potato. Yeah, I don't like those smooth potatoes. But yes, uh, 
for those of you out there, I spent many hours in many kitchens doing this tactic. And you know what, if you want to get it off, don't risk it by doing this, do this, just bump it off that quick. And he gets the easy. fancy avocado skills. I get the rip the chicken apart with your finger skills. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I purposely did this to flex. So there's that. It's fine. I'm gonna get these all those done. And then we're gonna go in with the next part of it, yeah, which is the cutting right of the onion nez and the cilantro. Oh, your favorite. And the juicing of the limes. Oh, I love the lime juicing. So you're ready to throw together all the ingredients of the uh, the chicken buffalo barf, cheesy? Chunky, cheesy chicken, chicken buffalo, buffalo barf. barf. I'll get it one of these days, guys. One, one. A little uh, cream cheese in here. Whole brick, not a little. Whole brick. <laughs> Get it's it. kind of cold, so I just kind of whipped it a little bit just to kind of get things going. So we'll just throw all that in there. A little whippy, a little whippy. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Get out of the way. So I think next, I probably want to make this a little bit more liquidy before I go throwing chunks of chicken in here. I'd say go in with the hot. Oh, yeah, so there. we'll go in with, no, we'll go in with some hot sauce first. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should just unscrew this lid completely yeah, for the amount we're going to put in. Definitely pop it out. Oh, geez. Well, there that goes. That lives down there now. You know the producers are good at so for sure, for sure. Clean up crew. Yeah, AKA, production. AKA so us. I'm gonna freehand this. Going with like a good amount though. I'd say, yeah. You gotta make it spicy. All right there, you gotta get at least some color on it, you know? Well, maybe it, just a little bit extra. There you go. For the cheap seats in the back. Yeah, buddy. And then I'm just gonna start mixing that around a tad. I almost feel like maybe I need a whisk for nah, this. Nah, you'll be fine. You just need to mash it out and put it into a pan and it's all gonna bake and boil together and make a delightful dia. So we're gonna just stick a little ranch in there just Stay to make things right there is probably a good little idea. creamier. And I'm actually gonna just start tossing in some cheese. About a cup. About a cup, we'll freehand cup, cup and a half. There you go. And then the rest is chalk and damn, she looking thick, huh? Yeah, that is, uh, that's really, really came together pretty good. Shove this in here. And that's gonna get baked off. And next up, my friends, I'm gonna show you the guac come together. The gastro guac. So, while that's happening, look. All the cottos are right here. Now, the next thing to do with that is, is smash them out. You want to smash them out how you want to smash them out. I thought you said smash mouth for a second. Well, and I mean. And I was like, oh, worst band ever. Really? Almost one of the worst. So you can smash them out with a bunch of different utensils. I actually, an industrial uh, whisk was my favorite back in the day. But if Claire wants it chunkier, which I'm fine with. I mean, just a little chunk. You can even I'm okay do with it. a smooth underneath and a couple chunks in the yeah, middle. You can even do it with a spoon. It really doesn't take all that long, but you just go kind of a grass and eventually you get there. And I'll show you the next part after, once I get there. Once we get there. Right. So the avocados are mashed out, as you'll see down here. So that's about nine avocados, I'd say. Nice and kind of chunky slash not too mushy. But we're gonna mix in after we do the next part, which is to basically flavor it. So we got the onion, the cilantro, and then, and of course the juicing of the limes. So the onion. Those and chocolate goes together, right? I think so. I don't see why not. So you got half a boat, half a red onion there. Should be enough. Next up, bunch of cilantro. Tuck her in. Chiffonade. Okay, Brad, can we discuss cilantro? What's up? Um, don't you hate it in real life? Yeah, I mean, it's not really my favorite thing, but here's the thing. When I when it's really disguised in the guac, it's really as not that offensive. Oh, so you actually eat it in guac? Yeah, the lime juice covers it up for me quite a bit. Just everything with the guac kind of covers it up quite a bit. Mm -hmm. We're all in it. The next thing we got to do is authentically hand bomb and juice these limes. And so the method is... Mm -hmm. Oh. A roll. Here, I'll give you a hand. A slice and a just 
and it's just that easy. That's a lot of juice. Lots of acid to make it pop. You want to see it cool a little bit. Before you salt, you whip. So you get it together in the whip. A little chunky, a little whippy, and then you want to go. I like to dust evenly across. That won't be enough, probably, but I will taste for it first. Oh, more. Just a bit. It's pretty much perfect. I'll have a little scoopy scoops. Super acidic. Hot sauce. Um. More salt. Less. There's a lot of lime in there. A little bit tangy. But that up against the salty chip is gonna be the tits. Actually, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna be good. Okay, Claire, take it away. We're gonna start making our Halloween homemade candy, our gourmet candy. So I've already done this recipe once, but um, we're gonna like. Kind of do a little bit of a redo, a little Halloween spin on it. So today we're gonna make gourmet Reese's pumpkins. So the better Reese's pumpkins are actually like a little bit bigger than this. Um, and this isn't really the best shape either. It just kind of looks like a hodgepodge. I don't know if you can see. It just kind of looks like a schmaltz. Oh, they do come in a pumpkin. I've never seen these before. Yeah, they come in a pumpkin. In my opinion, this is the best chocolate to Reese's filling ratio ever. So what you're gonna do is ultimately like just boil so this down and make it better we're gonna take the filling that we used for the reese's homemade cups and we're gonna just use a pumpkin cookie cutter which you can see is much bigger and actually probably a lot better shape wise and we're gonna make our own gourmet reese's pumpkins you're adding things yeah this is definitely like the kind of thickness we're trying to go for here so We'll see what happens. All right. Well, I'm here for it. I'll show up when the dessert's ready. Until then, I'm going. I'm going drinking. Do you want to try it? Best ratio ever. Best ratio ever. Oh my god. <laughs> Brad puns. Not dad puns. Brad puns. Brad puns. Mm, that's really good. It's so good. <laughs> the best ratio ever. Out of the Christmas trees, whatever else they make, the eggs. I gotta say that's the pumpkins by far. Are the winner. There's what? a reason Halloween's the Can best. I say, can I just say they're a little grainy a little or something? So, yeah, but that's what I like about them. Mm, okay. All right, get to it. All right. So the gourmet pieces for the filling, we're going to start by roasting and basically making our own peanut butter, peanut butter filling. So we're just going to do it with, so we're going to go two and a half cups of peanuts. These are already a little bit salted, but I think we'll throw a little bit more on there just because... I don't know about you, but I prefer a little bit more salty than just that super that super sweet center. Who doesn't like a little more salty though? So salty with cutting with the, the chocolate will cut it, right? And make it a little bit sweeter. So we're just going to spread these around quickly on a baking pan, baking sheet, some parchment, throw it in 350 oven, 20 to 25 minutes. And once those roast off, I will meet you guys back. We gotta let them cool afterwards. And once we cool them, throw them in a food processor. We're gonna grind them down. So the roasting part's gonna be pretty boring, so I'll meet you once they're roasted and cooled. Let's go, baby! A little drinky poo rand. So while my assistant is off camera, we're gonna go ahead and make a scary salad, a pasta salad, actually. So let me fire up this burner on power boil. We'll go ahead and get some water on the boil. This is going to be very simple, very easy. It's just fusilli pasta with some bocconcini, some tomatoes, some olives. They're already pretty much ready to ride. We just got to throw them in a bowl after the pasta is done with a little vinaigrette, and that's going to be it. But it's going to look pretty gross as a salad in the you know spirit of this Halloween. Things got to look creepy and gross. So, all right. So right off top, we have a multicolored pack of like cherry tomatoes. The orange, yellow, and red. I think they all lend to the season. Take a little handful out though. On top of that, we need to make the salad seem like a little bit, a little bit grody, a little bit gross. And for that, I feel like swamp colors, green, dark, almost black, purple, you know what I mean? So we got the olives here. So we got Kalamata and some regulars. 
Next up, every pasta salad has cheese in it, I would say. So we got some cocktail bocconcini here that's gonna go in, almost like some white eyeballs. Move that to the side, and then we're gonna go in with some meat. We gotta have some meat, of course. So we have some servalat. This is easily one of my favorite salamis, nice and stacked up. I just wanna go into some strips and go this way. And just chuck it in. That easy. Go ahead and pull the salami apart a little bit. Boom, boom, there we go. Once the pass is ready, we're gonna pop that in and we're gonna dress it and mix it in. Until then, this will go in the fridge. Go in with like a cup and a half, two cups of that. And that should be spectacular. All right, y'all, Brad back again, once again, while the water is boiling again. In the meantime, we got some spooky tomato salsa, blood colored tortillas, as you'll see down below here. I am going to fry off my own tortilla chips for some of these dips. Now, I also do have already on side some blue uh, corn tortilla chips because I couldn't get any, you know, blue tortillas just straight up. And I've also got some Doritos as well. So I do want to make at least some of these homemade. So we are going to fry them off in some oil. So what we're going to do is take these, just lay them flat and basically quarter quarter and then eighth I feel like would probably be the best almost like some big large restaurant style nacho chips Just keep spinning them around but yeah you got to cut them into basically a pizza slices and those are going to go into some hot oil and become nice and crispy we'll salt them up and those will be for some of the barf dips Okay, so because I have many bowls, I'm just gonna pop them into a bowl for now, I'll keep them for safekeeping, try to open them up a little bit here, and then get the oil going for those. Pasta is coming along, I think we're still looking at maybe a couple more minutes, and then we'll drain that off, let it cool, and then incorporate it into that spooky salad. All right, y'all, this pasta is definitely ready, so we definitely wanna go ahead and let, let this cool, because we're gonna incorporate it into like a cold salad, so. Being that it's Canada and it's October and Halloween and freezing, maybe I'll just put it outside. <laughs> so now that we got that all situated and handled, it's uh, me again, minus my co-host once again. Safis is uh, frazzled and falling apart. She's out getting things that she forgot to bring and needs. I am myself having a uh, crystal skull sour slimer. We're really doing it together, okay? And, uh, I inhaled ice. Fuck. And now we need to make these tortilla chips. So once again, we gotta bang on this high heat. And get that over now. You guys are gonna be like, why the hell do you have oil in these two separate bottles? It's really strange, it's weird. You wanna know why? Because oil is expensive and it's not only for one time use. I fried chicken wings in this once. I went ahead, I strained it out and I saved it in the fridge. That's a tip. You can do that. As long as you keep it cold, strain it, keep it kind of clear. It's just flavor in there. It's not gonna kill you. It's not gonna go rancid as long as you keep it cold. So we're gonna heat this up and then we're gonna fry these chips. Brad here with the kitchen pro tip. While other things are happening in the kitchen like oil heating up, what you wanna do is get yourself your garnishes, things that you could be doing in the meantime and just be going ahead and slicing and dicing and getting those ready, those garnishes ready. This is going to garnish the top of the buffalo chicken cheesy bark dip. Okay, it's that simple. Boom, we're done. All right, something wooden in the oil. Check if it's bubbling. Oh, that's not great. If it's bubbling, it's ready, it's bubbling. I'm just gonna reduce it for just a little couple minutes and then we go in. Okay, pro tip, do not overcrowd your pool. Just enough floating on the surface, right? In total, I'd say maybe, I don't know, four to six minutes aside. Happy medium being five probably. But as you touch them, you can feel the firmness coming, but you definitely have to flip each one. Each side needs a equal fry time. 
you know, the side that flips is much more rigid feeling, right? You can almost hear it. And that's what you gotta do. You just gotta flip everybody once, give them a three minutes, five minutes. You'll know though, you can feel the rigidity of the chip. As the time passes, you can feel that it's ready to come out. A couple more minutes and then we pull them out onto the sheet that we have prepared for the patting of the chips. You need to let them drain out, dry off, get them patted with the oil and then salt them as well. All right, I think we're there. They're pretty much firm out. They're getting some good color on them even though they're red. I can't really tell, but they are starting to brown up a bit. So in a, in a real cooking scenario, this would be what you call a spider. Essentially, just it strains off the oil, but you can hear the crisp, right? Has that rigidity. And what you wanna do is spread them out so that they all get their own room and space, right? Da -da 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 -da. Hear that? Nice and crispy. So when you're making your own chips, crisps, whatever, this is crucial. You have to salt immediately while the oil is still on them because it allows the salt to absorb and stick and adhere to the chip, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna get a chip that deflects everything that you put on it if you let it, if you don't season while it's hot. Now you can pull them over here, they're gonna chill until the next batch and so on and so forth, right? Just so you know it's real. How good? Mmm. Perfect. Salty. Crunchy. Gonna be great. She's back, she hasn't fallen apart. No. New cocktails. New cocktails. New cheers, back to business. I know it's been a rough journey. Peanuts have roasted, they are cooled. Into the blender we go. We're just gonna blend them up. Long story short, we're gonna blend until we get basically a smooth nut butter, our own peanut butter. Okay. At this point, I'm ready to call it gourmet mistakes. The nut butter. Just gonna pour it into just our mixer. The bowl. That's gonna weight it out a little bit. So now we're just gonna make just like a quick simple syrup. Half a cup of sugar. And then three tablespoons of water. We're just gonna turn this bad boy on. We're gonna bring it to a boil and then we're gonna bring it to, I believe it's 200. And 48 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're just gonna wait on this to boil. Creepy pasta scary salad. No, uh, poltergeist pasta. <laughs> yeah, okay, that works. <laughs> Why does everything have to be, what's that called when it's like letters together the same? I, I forget that one. Anyways, we gotta throw it together. Now the pasta has been, you know, it's cold now. You guys saw this come together when Saffitz was losing it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm actually going to go into here and then back into the clear bowl because the clear bowl is Pretty per good. personally swag in my well, opinion. Well you can see it. But I'll tell you all this. I Normally you could whip together your own oil and vinegar. I just got a little lazy on this one so we're using Newman. I personally love Newman's Proceeds own. Proceeds go to charity so you know can't, I mean? can't go wrong there. Already this video is like a lot of hours of work and time you can probably tell as the sun has been going down and we've been losing the light yeah so i don't know half a bottle there not even quite but we did bring the studio lights up and you will catch us downstairs in studio to try all this food right yep what are we going to talk about do you think i think we should keep it to almost like our just halloween experiences in life i was just gonna say i feel like we should keep it to like best halloweens best costumes like, Costumes, experiences, like school, like our, like our dad in, in where the where the you know the good neighborhoods that gave out the full chocolate bars were. Right, exactly. Okay. Yeah, Pasta. let's just keep it to that. We'll 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 eat the food and then we'll creepy talk movies, about creepy movies, obviously. Our favorite creepies. Creepy movies. Okay, and then from there. Real life scaries. I just want to real life scaries. Well, I mean, real life creepy pastas. Banging babysitters. Happened last year. You guys all know about it anyways. It's, it's not like a surprise on this Oh, one. red. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, crazy Mary. Crazy, crazy. So there you go. Pasta salad in there. It's a little creepy. I think it's nice. Lots of pasta. Something's a foot here. I like, a big, like a big foot. All right, next up, we're going to do feet loaf. <laughs> you hear it, right? Feet loaf. We are making Sam Squanch, a.k.a. Bigfoot. Sam Squanch. Chopped feet. The loaf. In loaf feet. form. You're gonna form one, I'm gonna form one, okay? Wow. The so, loaf. first things first, I'm gonna get it together in the bowl, right? And then we're gonna form the feet loaf. And it's easy, it's just basically meatloaf, shapes his feet, 
with a couple little decors to make it seem like they're <laughs> severed. <laughs> severed feet loaf. So, beef in a bowl, we do that. That's easy peasy off to the side. Next up, it's quick, it's onions. While that's happening, you can add garlic powder, some salt. I chop a little parsley. You get it in there, you start mashing it up. Yeah, we're gonna start just. And also, you need eggs. Sure do. Couple of eggs in there. Thank you. So we rip up some parsley. Now we think about the Sam Squanch on this Halloween. Do we believe in Sam Squanch? Do we believe in Bigfoot? Do we do we think he or she or it in this gender neutral binary life and this cancel culture? Do we think whatever it is is real? No. No, I I also agree. I you know why I know why. Why? Why do you know why? Do you know why? Because <laughs> Joe Rogan told me so. Oh, Jr. <laughs> you ever watch that thing on Netflix? Uh, about 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 Joe Rogan questions everything, and he goes around oh, yeah. and like yeah 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 like he goes and investigates. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he it's, finds out basically that it's untrue. Tips. So we've got the parsley cut up for it. We got eggs. This is some cold loaf. I just realized I fucked my whole life. <gasps> what? Breadcrumb. If you added and just I a never, little bit of almond flour. I don't know. Something to bind it. Well, the egg will bind it. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. I think we can just leave it as is. I feel like... Oh my god, that's so cold. I feel like you could add a little bit of almond flour and you'll be fine. Of seasoning. Listen, it doesn't have to taste perfect. It just has to taste like a flip. Like it's your basic white lady problem. It's not <laughs> enough seasoning. There's something afoot here. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see if I actually eat this on camera. She won't. She doesn't like ground buff. I eat everything else, just not ground up. But I have no problem making it. Yeah, that's fine. Weird. That's actually great because I didn't want to have to mold it, to be honest. But I guess we're going to have a foot molding competition. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is these going in? Yeah. Yeah, it's a yeah. heavy board. Ooh. Maybe down here for the people. Bring her in. Uh, just the milk. Yeah. Mold up. Mold hey. up. Mold up. <laughs> hey. Okay, competition. Oh, you're already killing it. This is your cake molding skills coming <laughs> in. <laughs> this is. Action. For sure. I can mold a foot. Don't even test me. We can. I mean, it's a foot. It shouldn't be that hard. My my problem is gonna be the toes for shits. Sugar toes? Because <laughs> you just have any sugary toes? Check out my foot while the sugars devolve it, dissolve it. <laughs> Mine feels like it's gonna be super wide and flat. Like, because you need to you need to cuff up the ankle, right? That's like, what I mean. Like, I gotta get this. Oh, there we go. This ankle happening yeah, you gotta here. Build her up. Let me get this. <laughs> oh, yours is different than mine. <laughs> you gotta look like a truck or something. <laughs> no, you gotta look at that. That's a sound squanch with a with an ankle. Oh, I think I'm winning now. Shut up. I like this game now. Mine looks like a, a diver or like a I don't know <laughs> a platypus duck. We need to use legit tools to make these toes though. No. Oh yeah, you just use a knife. You cut them in. Oh. Never, we're gonna have I've such never molded a, a foot before. We're gonna have such a different... I made a cake that was a crock once. We're gonna like have a, such a different... <laughs> such a different Sam Squanch toe. Mine's bad built up. Oh, yours is... Oh, your ankle's kind of like... My ankle's sexy. the shit. My ankle's the shit. Yeah, but you have to think about your onion slice, it's remember? It's like a girl ankle. How mm. big's my slice? Like I can an, make a small slice. No, it's big. It's an onion. Look at these onions. You gotta... Remember you gotta make the bone? Yeah, exactly. You didn't know what you were in for. It's still cold. My hands are frozen. Watch this. You gotta dig out your center too. <laughs> nice. Cupped up. I wonder if I was supposed to just mash it in. <laughs> Feet low. So weird. That's the weirdest. Okay, well, let's get some like onion perspective. I feel like I can use a smaller piece. 
Yeah. Onion comes in layers. It's a complicated being. It does get smaller as time goes on. Oh, I thought you were putting like the whole thing in here so it's like domed out of it. No, so it's like bone. So it's like it, you got carved off the leg. Oh, okay. I have a dainty bone coming out. There you go. You're just, yours is a girl foot. Yeah, exactly. In 2020, it was, hey, girls can have thick fucking girls, calves too. Girls can have feet loaves too. <laughs> Duh. Oh, we got to get it on there. Parchamente. Are we cross contaminata yet or what? <laughs> I mean, it's all over the place. We just need to be. So this isn't going to go well. I feel like my feet is coming in two pieces. No, you got it right there. Boom, you're done. <laughs> Foot loaf. <laughs> <laughs> right? You like it? <laughs> toes. Oh, yeah. oh, my toes oh, are no. botched. Though. Toes are nasty. Okay, Give me wait. that knife. How'd you get it off? Give me a knife. You want me to do it? Oh, you didn't do. Oh, Dainty you didn't hands? do the toe on the pan. Dainty hand. Okay, I need your help. <laughs> I told you. Wait, but, no, wait, knife, 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 knife. Just let me get underneath there. No, I need a knife. Watch this. I love lamb. Okay. <laughs> Keep it away. I need to fix my foot. Okay, where's our pumpkin toes? They're in the. Um, okay. All right, bloody lather. Ew, before? Not after? It's got a bake on it. It's meatloaf. You're oh, supposed to I crust know. it. I don't eat meatloaf, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> These are so funny. Feet loaf. <laughs> Yikes. I gotta cook unevenly. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay. Our filling finally came together after my troubles with the blender. Um, you saw the syrup pour. So basically you mix that until it's nice and cool. Not gonna lie, I did throw it in the fridge for a little while just to kind of set up because it's kind of a race against time here. And we're gonna just roll this out a little bit so we can cut our shapes. To the freezer. We're just gonna let those get frozen before we up. before we coat them. All right, so we're about 15 minutes away from this chicken buffalo barf. <laughs> this dip be an extra dope, but we gotta put it up here, and do the finishing touches, and in the spirit of Halloween and death and shit, finish him. <laughs> Would Brad say it? I don't know. I don't know. But hey, look, deep in there. You topped it off, right? Everybody likes to get topped off, especially on Halloween. Back in the old van, 1520, baby. And then look, there's feet loose. They're coming along. I think they're ready to do cold almost. It's close. Feet loose. Oh, we warped. The ankle broke. <laughs> it's a steamy pile of foot right there. Yeah. Yeah. Extra bubbling. Right? It's been a long day. Hey, Safis? Yeah. You guys have no idea. This has been eight hours of madness, I believe. So we need to have a cheers. And we need to at least try some of this. I'm half in the sack. I'm half hungover already, <laughs> I feel like. But here we are. We got it all. We got the poltergeist or poltergeist pasta or... I like the creepy pasta. Creepy pasta. Scary, Scary pasta salad. salad. We got the crisps done by us. We got the buffalo chicken barf. 
Got the pumpkins. The gastro guac. Gastro guac. Feet low. The feet low. And still, right now, currently, the dessert is coming together. So it's still in the process. Let's go ahead and try a few things. I think right off top, I need a piece of feet loaf. Wait, whose foot loaf is better? Well, yours is on your side, mine's on my side. So I we'll said find whose out. is better. Well, that's what we'll Formed, find. shaped. I said <laughs> mine because it held the toes better. You guys let us know in the comments. <laughs> I will say this, though. I'm going to give a shout out to Clara saying, also, I had to get that, that uh, apron off. <laughs> but I'll give a shout out to Clara saying, the pumpkin toenails were genius. The pumpkin seed toenails were absolutely genius. Shout out to that. So we'll get a piece of that. I would love to have... At this, at this point, I'm just full of savage. Yeah. Grabbing shit. It is what it is. Okay, so head-to-head -head shootout. Whose who's toe tastes better or what? Whose toe? I didn't get a toe. Okay, wait. Well, mine has a pumpkin seed, so... Okay, hang on. I'll get a toe. This is a big deal. I don't like ground beef. I don't eat meatloaf. But she I'm, doesn't really at all. I'm doing it for you. More for me than anybody, but... Well, whatever. I'm going to take, like, a glaze. A bloody, a bloody glaze going down in a bloody blaze of glaze. <laughs> very, very cooked. I'm pretty dry. <laughs> Quite dry. But to be honest, I don't think I could eat it if it was not... I know this. I'll need this. Oops, that's a lot. That's a white trash moment. It's okay, that's fine. I think the only way I can choke this down is the ketchup. Mm -hmm. You want some? To be honest. Um, no, I think I'm just going to like finish this up here and call it a day. Okay. Okay. I did actually want to glaze this and make it... Just the pasta salad, make it a little more scary seeming. Okay, what is that? With the balsamic, just balsamic glaze. Oh. So thoughts on the loaf? <laughs> I wonder, is it, I think, is I it think, dry because we split it up into two different ones and we just cooked it for two? Like, I, don't, I don't think we put enough milk in it and also we were scared of the fact that I screwed up and didn't get the breadcrumb. So we couldn't make it as wet as it probably should have been. I guess that's true. Mm. Creepy pasta is good. Mm. I wonder, should I have diced the tomatoes? I, I mean, wanted ha to, I half, wanted half them, maybe. That's what I mean. Like, just but I like, get the point of the aesthetic. Well, I also wanted to be like exploding eyes. Oh, I got you. And you mouth. bite into them. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a big chunk of meat in here. I can lie. Part of me wants to be like, you know, we should talk about Halloween stories and things, but I just feel like defeated by this whole day. <laughs> <laughs> this whole day has been a nightmare. <laughs> Eight hours of insane. It's been a long day. Like, like so many things. There's a reason gourmet makes six days. There's a reason why creating crazy, like high level YouTube videos, and it, I don't even know if this one's even that high level, but <laughs> like takes so much effort, like so many dishes, <laughs> dead batteries. Mm hmm. Trips out to get things we forgot. Wig breaks. Wig breaks. I got, <laughs> I got way too fucking hot. I had to derobe. At a certain point, I had to go get new vodka. Mm-hmm. That's in this cup over here. So shout out new vodka. The flavored apple one didn't make it very long. It was wasn't well, great. Well, we needed to use it for a recipe, and then. But hey, right here. Time for cheesy dip. I can't even get close to you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've actually been looking forward to this 
buffalo barf dip all day. Okay, I'm gonna try your guac here. I think it's time. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's really good. These homemade. Flour tortilla, the tomato mm -hmm. crisp. I've only ever homemade like a corn tortilla type chip, but the flour tortilla is actually like as good. It's like it's fluffy, but it's crispy. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think that's what I like the little fluffiness to it. Mm -hmm. You want to load me up a barf dip? Mm -hmm. Give me your. Uh, just fork for a second. Oh. <laughs> I barfed it. Well, I mean. That's exactly what it is. Thank you. Barfalo chicken. <laughs> did we finally find Your the, fucking dad jokes are just like. Did we finally find the right. Barfalo chicken. Did we finally find the right answer? Crazy dad jokes over here. Oh, that's really good. Right? Good job, Claire. <laughs> Can I have some uh, gastric? Load me up. Yeah, just dip it. I think that one can well, actually... It's easier to dip this one, I feel like. Mm. Now, you guys know I don't love a... A guac per se, but that's good. It's cold still. That's, that's 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 really the most surprising part of it all. <laughs> we definitely want taste there. Yeah, I think I have to say out of the two dips, like obviously they're super different. Guac is its own world, mm -hmm. but that one right now is like it's better. after this long ass fucking day. It's some fatty, carby. Absolutely. It's not even carby other than the chip. Like the dip itself isn't. It's just fatty. You know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I'm going for. Fats and warm carbs. Mm. <laughs> so. So. Most memorable costume in your life for you. Well, it has to be last year's costume because I won a hundred bucks at a... Only a hundred? I won best costume on a hundred dollars. So did I. Best costume at a bar. I told this story. Was this in Toronto though? I don't know. Was that your stormtrooper? Cheater. I almost fought your ex boyfriend. <laughs> Same night. Cool. How yeah. Thunder Bay of you. Right? <laughs> we won't say his name. But I almost did. Sweet. You guys know the story. Guess I'll have to look back for that one. She's a costume maniac. Yeah. I've put effort into my costumes over the years, but relative to her, not even fucking close. I dressed up as Pennywise last year. I feel the like, best costume. I feel like would you say this though? Because because Happy birthday to you. Like, you because you're in October 22? Yeah. Would you say that there's something inside of you that immediately gravitates to Halloween and, like, you're willing to, like, spend... I mean, maybe because it's so close. It's the only fun thing after October, August 31st. Like... But do you think that you like it more because it's cause around your birthday? Maybe. Probably. I mean, there's summer, and then fall starts basically September first. You are a summer. You are a summer lover, though. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I thought that you probably gave much more effort to your costumes because of the fact that it's your like your birthday. No, I don't think my birthday has anything to do with it. it. Just falls a few days before it. All right. Do you love the dress-up aspect of it, or? I think, yeah. I mean, I think so. 
I'm not like a super outgoing person for the most part. So when you kind of like dress up as somebody else and then you go out here, we have this thing called the hunger and it's like this huge downtown bar pub crawl basically. And you go out and there's all these people dressed up and you don't know who anybody is and no one knows who you are. And I think there's something very comforting about that. That's what I said. I made a video the other day saying like Halloween for me is like it's the one night where everybody gets to like just let go and be something crazy without yeah. any judgment. And it mostly turns out that everyone just dresses up as sluts. So there's that. Mm-hmm. It's like Dora the Explorer, but sexy. Yeah, I don't think. And that's I've, weird. In my Halloween costume career, I've dressed up as a lot of dudes. <laughs> Dressed up as it. I've dressed up as Jack. Uh, I dressed no. I was Sally that year. No, I've dressed up as Beetlejuice. The, I've dressed up as the Mad Hatter. Yeah, but weren't you um, Johnny Depp Mad Hatter? Or? Yes, I was a Johnny Depp Mad Hatter. Right. Dressed up as the Mad Hatter. Oh, there was one year where I dressed up as Max from Two Broke Girls. Right. Because everyone tells me that. Between my face and my attitude, I'm a lot like her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, amongst cupcakes, by amongst the way. other parts. <laughs> no one has the gun she has. Those things are incredible. Fair enough. Oh. They can be seen on the internet. Oh. Oh, that's not nice. Have you not looked? No. Oh, I've seen them. Yeah, you're a guy. I feel bad for her. I respect her. No, she did it on purpose. She didn't do it on purpose. Her mm. phone was hacked. Mm-mm. Okay, well, whatever. I don't believe that, but maybe not. I don't care either way. If you want to put your it's boobs out, put it's your just boobs a, it's out. It's just a piece of a body anyways. Yeah, but women's bodies get treated a lot different than when people like, I don't know, say Chris Evans accidentally... Throws his big old piece out there. <laughs> yeah. His Thor hammer. Yeah, I cap- feel like women ca- get judged for putting their shit out there. Captain America. Well, it's like, I don't know, whatever. He's Captain America, right? Yeah. Still got peas on him, though. You know what sucks the worst? What a conversation this has turned into. After all of this work, to only be able to eat like a handful. <laughs> to only eat a few bites. I'm not going to... I we, still have to dunk those Reese's. We snacked along the way. Oh, it's so much food. But we did snack along the way. We drank along the way. And I love when you put a salsa out here like you thought it had a fighting chance between these two dips. <laughs> it, was just, it was just part of the program, I felt like. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to do. Like we, I, I feel like guilty. Like I want to give this food away to somebody, though. You know what I mean? Well, I can tell <clears> you who will <throat> eat that. Cruz. Oh, Cruzana. <laughs> My dog would eat it if she could, but there's onions in it, so that's out. I'm laying back. It sucks. It's hard. It's rough. <laughs> Dog's a little weirdo. Okay, so we did all that work. Oh, for not a lot. For not a lot. It is what it is, though. Yeah. I mean, it was good. Favorite Halloween movie? Probably Halloween. Halloween. The OJ. Like, the or OJ. The OG. OJ has to be. Hey, Lonnie, get your ass away from there. <laughs> yeah, it has to be Michael Myers. I, think- I just think he is the scariest because he doesn't speak. He makes literally no noise. He never he dies. he just kind of pops up out of nowhere. And he also just, like, walks chill and is faster than Hussein Bolt. <laughs> Do you know As what I mean? walking. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... Tommy could be running Top Gun, yeah. and he's just, like, being super chill, but, yeah. like, the fastest ever. Yeah, I don't like a lot of... I'm not a big fan of, like, scary shit. I watched, like, The Haunting of Bly Manor in the daylight, because I can't handle it. Gore and whore. Well, there's always a whore in gore. Well, there's... Why is there always titties in gore, though? Like, what? I don't know. Is that a thing? There's a difference between the, like murderer films like murder horror films and, like, and then like creepy, creepy horror films do you know what i, I can't w- handle creepy horror films i will say no you know what you know what you know what actually changed the game and then became like standard issue but changed the game was saw no no yeah no jigsaw like the first the first one i watched the first one and then never again blew my tree i hated it it made me like wow i hated it second one was pretty bad too uh, also in the same vein of like making it different and changing was Blair Witch. Yeah, Blair Witch was creepy. Blair Witch creepy. was fucking nuts, I feel like. 
Like, it made me feel... Because it was so, like, auth- at that time, like, no one had done that, like, authentic, just, like, camcorder, woods-type realness shit. Like... Yeah. And you know what's cool about Blair Witch was that there wasn't really any, like, sort of ending. It was just very mysterious. <laughs> His camera just dropped. Drops, and that's it. it. Yeah. Did I ever, we did a remake of it for, in high school, for, like, our... Me- we had, like, a media class. So we had to do, like, a remake of a of a movie so we, we called it the blair switch project <laughs> oh and we God. filmed it out at camp did you guys I become need, i literally somebody has it if you need to like shove clips of it in here if i can find what it. did you switch so did we, you become transgender no so we shot it like you know that that because 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 blair is you know that cemetery by the hospital male and female name. you know the cemetery by the hospital yeah yeah. so yeah, we yeah, went yeah, there yeah. and shot a bunch <laughs> yeah, of shit yeah. there and then we drove out to camp and out there, you know the scene where they have, like, all the little stick figures hanging in the tree? Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just had, like, dolls and, like, Care Bears toys and stuff hanging <laughs> oh out there. Oh, my god! It was really bad. It was really dumb. It's probably, like, oh, God. Offensive at this point? I don't think that there's much that's offensive in it. It's basically the same premise as the other Blair Witch Project. I mean, it's 2020. Everything's offensive. But, yeah. Well, that's true. That said, though, uh, another one was The Ring. I feel like... Oh, the ring was really creepy. I feel like the ring was fucking crazy. Like, that girl with the hair coming out of the... And uh, the grudge. The ring and the grudge. The Something grudge. about Yo, Japanese movies to start To be with. honest, first paranormal activity had me fucked up. Really? Yeah. Oh. Do you want to know one of my... Actually, two of my most scary movies ever that aren't technically, like, murder or horror or anything is uh, The Strangers. Oh, yeah, I couldn't watch that. <laughs> Strangers crazy. No. That shit was crazy. Just like I'll never be able to watch those Purge movies either. And also, a really off-topic, off-base one that's super, like, simple if you think of it in the rating and shit, but it's creepy as fuck. It was Vacancy. Again, never watched it. Oh, I've got to watch Vacancy. Owen Wilson in a, in a hotel, it's... That shit got me going good, so... Those are definitely like my tops, I would say, that make me feel like creepy, weird, like that, that aren't even like that's the thing about shit. Like I don't like I don't like like direct murder. I like more like I don't really like any of it. Sus- I'm not a direct murder fan either. Like suspense and like feeling like whoa. I think to like, be honest, I just feel like Michael Myers, the whole Halloween thing. I only like the original and I think it's because I've I've know it from front to back now and I just am like not scared by it anymore. You can't be snuck. I'm so used to it now. You can't be snuck up on. Like you want to ask my favorite Halloween movie it's probably The Great Pumpkin. <laughs> Charlie Brown. Or Hocus Pocus. <laughs> oh I love Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus legit. Yes. Or Charlie Charlie Brown and Pumpkin Bash. Charlie Brown. Like it's a great pumpkin Charlie Brown. Right. Keep it chill. Remember Garfield Halloween? I don't. It but was actually kind of creepy. If he ate pizza he's on my, my radar. It was actually kind of creepy. But anyway. Yeah. Okay. I feel like that's where we need to end this. Sorry we couldn't smush, but like... Well, we gotta come back at you with dessert at some point. <sighs> just, we gotta come back just, at you with them Reese's. This day took so much effort and time, and it was very exhausting. <laughs> and on, along the way, like... I feel like, like we got tipsy and, and came back, and got tipsy yeah, and came back again. It was alcohol and snacking, so just at least appreciate the cooking aspect of it, <laughs> and the spread. <laughs> and, our, and our best attempt to be Brad and Claire. Yeah. Because I, like... Because I have a Jufro. <laughs> Okay. Guys, watch. I've been hiding it the whole time. I've been hiding this the whole time. (laughs) Do you know what I mean? Brad's actual secret. So here I am. He is a fro. Yeah. It's not that I'm bald the whole time. I have a fro. (laughs) Okay.